Hey, Mike, um, I know you started your evening with this, but um, do you have any update on Grayson's ankle? No, I mean, we talked about it a little bit uh, with medical, with Troy, and, you know, we'll know more in the morning. Um, I think we're hopeful that it's uh, – we'll, we'll just know more in the morning. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, same question with Wes, I guess, and his hamstring. Yeah, I know less about that. Um, you know, I think we'll take a look at him, see how he feels in the morning, see if uh, – you know how he how he comes up, uh, you know after a night's rest. Um, I know Giannis stayed in and and, and finished the game um, with, with the left ankle as well. I guess is that also a, a thing where you got to see how it reacts overnight? Yeah, I mean you know he was good enough to go back in, good enough to you know um, continue play, and you know I think we're hopeful that it's a, a minor um, you know ankle sprain. Um, to the game, I I think this is the fifth time this season um the team has shot below 30 percent from three um i i guess it, when 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 that happens um what what do you think needs to happen otherwise to help generate offense is it is it ball movement cutting is it is it some isolation type stuff what 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 can maybe be an answer when the three-point shot isn't isn't falling um I mean, it's it's a you know it's it's going to be a, a hard sport um, you know if you can't make them pay from behind the line. So, you know, I think um, we'll look at the film, see what kind of shots we got. Um, if they're good shots, like we're not going to change. Um, you know, you, you got to be able to make them. You never know when the dam's going to break. You know, I think we've been emphasizing offensive rebounding. You know, if you're if you're not making shots, there's lots of shots to go get. Um, it didn't feel like we did. Um, you know, the job that was needed tonight um, on the offensive boards if we're going to shoot that percentage from the three-point line. Um, you know, so we'll look at the threes. We'll look at, you know, how much we moved. Um, but, you know, we want to have great spacing. We want to have – we have good shooters. We believe in them. Um, we want them to keep shooting. Uh, just for you guys on the defense end, what is it about this Hawks team that can kind of be so difficult for you guys? Yeah, you know, I mean, they've got, you know, very good guard play. Um you know their bigs. Uh, there's a good. There's a good kind of synergy between their bigs and their guards. You know, good screen setters, good rollers. Um, you know, tonight Capella, you know, really was a was a problem for us. You know, they they found him and he finished. And um, you know, the the scoring was really well distributed for them tonight. Um, you know, so they're they've they've you know beat us different ways. They've they've their guards have had big nights. You know, tonight you know there was a lot of balance in Capella. In particular, um, you know, on the lobs, you know, the free throw line in the second half, I thought really hurt us. You know, we had they had six at, at uh, halftime, and um, you know, we got to do a better job keeping them off the free throw line. And uh, you know, they didn't shoot it that well from three, didn't get that many. Um, you know, so it really becomes a free throw line a little bit, and then them making tough twos. Uh, just Marjan's effort in the second half. Just what do you think he kind of brought to you guys? Yeah, you know, I, I think. You know, really, I would say for the entirety of the game, he was really good. You know, he's a guy that is taking advantage of this opportunity. He just he just competes. You know, we talk about we want competitors. We want guys who compete every possession. And, um, you know, he's doing that. He's just he's playing with uh, with force and activity and energy. And he's just, you know, out there hooping. And, um, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's good to be young. Um, and uh, we really like what he's given us. It's it's definitely a bright spot, um, you know, while we have some guys that are out injured. How much do you sense Marjan's comfort continuing to evolve and, and maybe taking some chances on a hustle play to try to save it on the defensive end or whatever it may be? Yeah, no, he just brings a great competitive spirit. Uh, you know, he's, he's willing to take shots. He's willing to kind of make plays. Uh, he's got good instincts. Um, I do think he's getting more confident, more comfortable, and uh, he's really helping us. What did you think of the transition defense tonight? Was there anything in that area that elicits any thoughts or just thought it was okay? No, I didn't think either team really, you know, I thought there was a lot of half-court play tonight. Um, so I think overall, considering a 48-man a game NBA you know, maybe the film will say something different, but you know, I don't think you know they're they're a team that executes in half court, and um, they're they're very you know kind of uh, they can be surgical at times and, and more of a half court type setting. 
Um, no Drew, no Chris. The, obviously, those are some of your main creators. Offensively, how do you want to create shots? Do you get know what I'm saying? Like, when Giannis isn't in there, like, how do you guys want to try to create something? Because I, I know it's going to be tough without your two main guys. Yeah. No, I mean, you know, I think we're – we're struggling a little bit offensively, you know, to, to create those shots. You know, I, I think Brooke's been somebody that's been good for us to play through Brooke. Um, Javon has been good, you know, as, as kind of a guy that we can play pick and roll with and mix up the combinations with Javon, with, with Brooke, Javon, with Bobby. You know, try and get some, some movement stuff for Marjan and Jordan. And, um, you know, we need to play off of our defense. So, you know, it's, it's, I think, an area where, you know, we need to look at, we need to improve, get better. You know, hopefully those guys coming back would make a difference. Um, but, you know, I think we could, you know, I think uh, find things for that group or these groupings that, you know, can maybe help them more. Coach, at times did you sense guys passing up shots, open looks that they had? Um, and if so, what do you think that's a result of? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would actually say we've, I mean, as coaches, we're always, you know, have things that we're frustrated with. I, I, I am, I think we pass up too many open threes. I'm, uh, we talk about it in film. We talk about it in practice. We talk about it in timeouts. Um, you know, I, you know, I wasn't a very good player, but I loved it when the coach told me to shoot. So I just keep telling them to shoot. But uh, sometimes they just, uh, I don't know, maybe it's unselfishness. Um, but we need to shoot when we're open. All right, thank you.